Today on Forbes, meet the most powerful philanthropists in America, Warren Buffett's kids. Wearing a protective vest, cargo pants, and a helmet, Howard Buffett, the 69-year-old son of billionaire investor Warren Buffett, holds a camera up to his face with one eye closed. To his right, a soldier huddles under tarps draped in a tree that forms a makeshift shelter. A patchy layer of snow covers the ground. Buffett is in an undisclosed location in the Donetsk Oblast region of eastern Ukraine, taking photos for a book he published earlier this year via his Howard G. Buffett Foundation. Called Courage of a Nation, the 220-page book contains pictures that Buffett, an avid photographer, took in Ukraine during 10 trips to the war-torn country in the first two years after Russia's invasion in February 2022. His charitable foundation has funneled hundreds of millions of dollars in assistance to the country, primarily for food security and conflict mitigation. Just last year, it distributed roughly a quarter of a billion dollars to groups operating in Ukraine, and it's on track to donate another $800 million to those efforts this year, Buffett told Yahoo Finance last month. In his foundation's 2023 annual report, Buffett wrote, quote, In Ukraine, we are currently responding to the humanitarian crisis created by the full-scale invasion by Russia, but we have ideas of the role it can play when the war ends and the hard work of recovery begins. For years, Howard and his siblings, Susie and Peter, have quietly given away their father's money in a big but very low-key way, so much so that few have noted just how much of an impact they've made. Between 2001 and 2023, the trio received nearly $7.9 billion in Berkshire Hathaway shares and have given away at least $7.4 billion through their charitable foundations, more than $2.2 billion apiece. The siblings' lifetime giving would land them on Forbes' 2024 list of the country's 25 most generous philanthropists, ahead of Charles Koch and Home Depot co-founder Bernie Marcus. These figures don't include $8.8 billion in charitable distributions from 2001 to 2023 by the Susan Thompson Buffett Foundation, named after Warren's first wife, who died in 2004. The foundation is reportedly the largest private U.S. donor to reproductive health groups and is chaired by their daughter, Susie Buffett. The spotlight is only going to shine brighter on the siblings in the years to come. Last year, their 93-year-old father, said he was appointing them as future distributors of one of the world's largest fortunes, nearly $130 billion in Berkshire Hathaway stock, as part of his will. Buffett recently told the Wall Street Journal that the siblings will oversee a charitable trust that will hold nearly all of Warren Buffett's assets when he dies. It's not clear why Buffett chose his three children to give away his fortune upon his death rather than the Gates Foundation, which has more than 2,000 employees and an infrastructure in place that enabled it to distribute nearly $8 billion last year. In 2006, Buffett wrote public letters to Bill and Melinda Gates and to his children, promising to give each of their foundations a portion of his Berkshire Hathaway shares every June, with the bulk of the donation going to the Gates Foundation. At one point in the letter to Bill and Melinda, Buffett referred to it as a, quote, lifetime pledge. Later in the letter, he added, quote, I will soon write a new will that will provide for a continuance of this commitment by distribution of the remaining earmarked shares or in some other manner after my death. But in late June this year, Buffett told the Wall Street Journal, quote, the Gates Foundation has no money coming after my death. His stated reason for the change was that his children have shown they can handle giving away an enormous amount of money. In a letter to Berkshire Hathaway shareholders last November, when he first disclosed that his children would be the trustees of a charitable trust that will receive 99% plus of his wealth, Buffett wrote, quote, They were not fully prepared for this awesome responsibility in 2006, but they are now. For full coverage, check out Lindsay Chu and Carrie A. Dolan's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.